Just last week on February 5th, the stunning portfolio won the awards developer award along with an honorable mention. When I explored the site, one thing that really stood out to me was this impressive hover animation in the recognitions and awards section. The animation is so well executed, not just the seamless image preview animation, but mainly the smooth text effect. You can see it handles rapid mouse movement super smoothly. It's been a while since we have covered a micro interaction like this on the channel. After so many scroll animations and landing pages, I thought recreating this over effect would be a fun challenge. So I gave it a shot and after a few hours of experimenting, I managed to achieve a similar hover animation using JavaScript and a bit of GSAP. Just like the original effect, I tried to make my version highly responsive too, which can handle rapid mouse movements just as smoothly. In this video, I'll walk you through how to create this sleek hover effect using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and GSAP. If you find my work helpful, don't forget to leave a like and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing too. And if you want to access the source code, you can check out the pro membership through the link in the description below. Alright, let's dive into the code. The HTML structure is going to be pretty minimal, we don't need much here. I'll add three main sections, an intro, an award section, and an outro. I'll also add a div with the class award preview where we'll render the images for the hover animation. To avoid having an empty page, I've added an h1 inside the intro section as a placeholder. In the award section, I'll use a paragraph element for the section title and include a wrapper called awards list where we'll dynamically generate the list of the awards using JavaScript. Lastly, I'll add another h1 with some placeholder text in the outro section. And that's it for the structure, let's move on to styling now. I'll start by reciting some default styles using the universal selector. This removes any margin and padding and sets the box sizing to border box for consistent sizing across all elements. For the body, I've used a light background color and set the custom font to give it a clean modern look. Next, the images need to stay perfectly aligned during the animation, so I positioned them absolutely with a width and height of 100% and object fit cover to ensure they scale correctly without distortion. Now the typography. The H1 elements are styled to be bold with uppercase letters and a large 72 pixels font size and a tight letter spacing. The paragraph elements are also in uppercase but has slightly smaller font size. Each section is set to cover the full viewport with 100 viewport width and 100 viewport height and overflow hidden to keep things clean when we animate elements within them. The intro and outro sections are centered using flexbox to keep the headings right in the middle of the screen. For the award section, we give it a minimum height of 100 viewport height to ensure it covers at least the full height of the screen but it can also expand if needed. The awards list has a simple top order to separate it from the rest of the page. Each award has a height of 80 pixels. This is important because, as you will see in the animation, this height is what we'll be using to create that smooth sliding effect. Now, here is the key part. The award wrapper is 240 pixels tall, exactly 3 times the height of a single award row. This is crucial because the animation will move the wrapper up and down by increments of 80 pixels to display different parts of each award row. Each award name and award project is styled with flexbox to space out the content evenly and they have a cursor pointer to indicate they are interactive, with a border at the bottom to separate each item visually. Finally, the award preview div is positioned in the bottom right corner with a fixed size of 30% of the screen. This is where our images will appear during the hover animation. With the CSS ready, our structure is set and the design is in place. Next up, let's bring everything to life with JavaScript. Before we dive into the main script, let's quickly go over this data.js file that we'll be using to pull content from. I've created an array of objects for our awards list. 
As you can see, each award has a few key properties like name, type, project, and label, all of which we'll use to dynamically generate the HTML elements for the awards with JavaScript. I have kept this data in a separate file to keep our main script clean and organized. Alright, now let's head over to the script.js file and start writing the logic for our hover animation. First, I am importing the awards array from our data.js file so we can use the awards data dynamically in our script. Next, I am listening for the DOM content loaded event to ensure our code runs only after the HTML is fully loaded. Here, I am initializing Lennis a smooth scroll library with autoref set to true so it automatically handles the animation frames for smoother scrolling throughout the page. Then, I am grabbing some important elements from the DOM. The awards list container where our award items will be rendered. The award preview div where the preview images will appear during the hover animation. Now, let's set up our key animation positions. I am defining an object called positions with three values. Bottom at 0 pixel, middle at minus 80 pixels, and top at minus 160 pixels. These correspond to the exact heights we set in our CSS. Remember, each award is 80 pixels tall, and award wrapper is 240 pixels. We'll use these values to slide the awards wrapper up and down for our animation. Next, I'm creating some variables, last mouse position to track the current mouse coordinates, active award to store currently hovered award, ticking as a flag to manage our animation loop efficiently, mouse timeout to handle mouse movement delays, and a flag called is mouse moving to check if the mouse is still in motion. I am looping through the awards array with for each method. For each award, I am creating a new div element and assigning it the class award. Next, I am adding the HTML structure inside this award element using inner HTML. This structure includes an award wrapper div that will hold the content we animate. Inside it, there are two sections, award name and award project. Each row contains two H1 elements displaying the award's name, type, project and label. You might have noticed that I have repeated the award name section twice. This is intentional because during the animation, we need both top and bottom sections for the sliding effect to work seamlessly. Without this repetition, the animation wouldn't reset. Finally, I am appending each award element to the awards list container, which is where all of our awards will be displayed on the page. Next, I am selecting all the award elements and storing them in awards elements. Next, I am creating a function called animate preview. This function will handle the image preview animation when the mouse moves in and out of the awards list area. I am grabbing the bounding box of our awards list using get bounding client rect method which gives us the exact position and dimensions of the container on the screen. Then I am checking if the current mouse position is outside this bounding box. If the mouse moves out of the award section, we need to remove any active preview images. To do that, I am selecting all the images inside the award preview method and looping through each one. Using GSAP, I animate the scale from 1 down to 0 over 0.4 seconds. Once the animation is done, the image is removed from the DOM. This ensures that whenever the mouse leaves the award section, any preview images displayed will be cleaned up properly. With this preview animation ready, let's move on to handling the hover interaction for each award. Next, we have the update awards function which manages the sliding animations of our awards list based on the mouse position. The first thing I am doing here is calling animate preview method to ensure that any preview images are handled properly when the mouse moves. Then I am checking if there is any active award currently being hovered over using the active award variable. If there is, I get its position using get bounding client right method again and check if the mouse is still hovering over that award. To do that, I compare the current mouse coordinates with the awards position. If the mouse is no longer over the active award, I need to animate it back to its original position. I select the award wrapper inside the active award and determine if the mouse left from the top or bottom by comparing the mouse's Y position with the center of the award. Using GSAP, I then animate the wrapper either to the top position if the mouse left from the top or to the bottom position if left from below. Once that's done, I reset the active award to null. Next, I loop through all the awards. If an award is already active, I skip it but for all other awards, I check if the mouse is hovering over them using the same position checks. If the mouse is currently over an award, I grab its wrapper and determine the direction from which the mouse entered, from the top or bottom. I then animate the wrapper to the middle position using GSAP, making that award slide into view and set it as the active award.
Finally, I set the ticking flag to false to indicate that the animation loop is ready for the next frame. This function keeps all the awards smoothly sliding up and down based on the mouse movements, giving us that seamless over animation. Next, I'm adding an event listener for the mouse move event to track the position of the mouse every time it moves. Whenever the mouse moves, I update the last mouse position with the current x and y coordinates using client x and client y. I also set the flag is mouse moving to true to indicate that the mouse is currently active. If there is an existing mouse timeout, I clear it to avoid any conflicts. Next, I am checking if the mouse is inside the awards list area by comparing its position with the bounding rectangle of the list. If the mouse is within the list boundaries, I set the mouse timeout that waits for 2 seconds. If no movement is detected within those 2 seconds, I consider the mouse inactive. At this point, I select all the preview images inside the award preview. If there is more than one image, I remove all but keep the last one using GSAP to animate their scale down to zero before removing them from the DOM. Finally, I call the animate preview function on every mouse move to ensure that the preview animations respond to the current mouse position. Finally, let's handle the actual hover interactions for each award. I'm looping through all the awards elements using for each method and grabbing the award wrapper inside each award. I'm also setting a variable current position to top to keep track of the wrapper's current position. When the mouse enters an award, I set the award as an active award and get its position on the screen. I then check if the mouse entered from the top half of the award by comparing the mouse's Y position with the center of the award again. If it did, or the current position is at the bottom, I animate the award wrapper to the middle position using GSAP, making the award name smoothly slide into view. Next, I'm creating an image element dynamically, set its source to an image from the assets folder based on the index, and position it absolutely inside the award preview container. I scale the image from 0 to 1 using GSAP for a smooth reveal effect. When the mouse leaves an award, I reset active award to null and determine if the mouse left from the top half or the bottom half of the award row. Depending on that, I update the current position to either top or bottom and animate the award wrapper to that position using GSAP, making it slide out seamlessly. This block ties everything together, giving us smooth over animations for both the awards, list, and the image previews. And that's it. Hope you found the video helpful. See you in the next one.